the federal system will collapse. You'll still have state power, right? There will be states, and that will, you know, the, the question is how much of that gets exerted over time. Right. I don't know. Um, but, you know, look, if, if I had pulled you aside and I said, look, man, um, it's 1922, and I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure the stock market's going to crash within a comfortable span of years, right? And I'm pretty sure we're going to end up with a Great Depression. I can't tell you when, but I'm sure it's going to happen. Why? Well, I know history. Right. That's what happens when things get like they are now. You would have to think about it, and you'd have to say, okay, is that guy, does he know what he's talking about, or is he crazy? Mm -hmm. And if you thought, even for a second, that I might be right, you would take measures. You would make sure that you had what you needed to get through a hard time. Go do that. Oh, that's not hard. That's not crazy. Right. You should have some food around your house, right? It should be able to last you a while. You should have a consistent water source, right? Make sure you're not beholden to anybody to get these basic things. Should you, you should have some weapons. You should have some bullets, right? right? You should just be living. I don't want to call it a prepper lifestyle, but a self-sufficient one. Right. Well, there's nothing crazy about that. And if you're wrong, if I'm wrong, you're the guy who had too much food in his house. Away. Right, right. Too many guys. Oh, that just that just doesn't seem like that big a deal. To me. Right. Yeah, no, so, I totally understand that. That makes total sense. You know, yeah. I, I don't want to live in the in the middle of a major metropolitan area. I'll live outside of town. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but not not downtown where lots of people are all the time, where they become unruly first. Right. That's right. not my that's not my kind of thing. Do I think this is going to happen? Yeah, I know this is going to happen. When? You know when? No, you nope, don't know. can't tell you. Can't yeah. tell you. It could be decades be, or, or what? I, it's hard to imagine, right? When when Anthony and I first started, our best guess was 25, 35 years, something like that. Mm -hmm. And that was 10 years ago. Um, and the debt has gotten much, much worse. And it, it's escalating now exponentially. It's not a linear thing anymore, right? It, it was linear and then it just did this. Um, and sooner or later, and here's where it's going to get ugly. Nobody's going to loan the United States government any more money, right? Because they're all going to realize they're never going to get it paid back, right? And the, the government is already running out of places to borrow. Uh, that's more of a problem than most people are willing to. Do. Damn. So when you can't borrow any more money, you're gonna, always going to do the same thing. That's what the Venezuelans did. You're going to print more, yep. and when you print more, it's all going to be worthless. And when it's worthless and nobody will use it anymore, um, what's the point in the United States again? Right. Uh, and now it doesn't sound crazy at all. 